One day, as Om Sum stood in front of the bathroom mirror with shampoo in one hand and a towel on his head, a question popped into his mind. What if we stopped washing our hair? He imagined waking up one morning and announcing to himself that he was done with shampoo forever. At first, nothing seemed different. His <laughs> hair still looked the same, a little messy, maybe, but not too bad. For the first few days, it actually felt kind of freeing. <laughs> No more foam in the eyes, no more cold water shocks, and definitely no more taking forever to dry his hair. But Om Sum knew things wouldn't stay that simple. As the days turned into weeks, his hair began to look like it had a secret life of its own. It started sticking together in clumps like spaghetti that refused to separate. The shine disappeared, replaced by a greasy layer that could probably fry an egg. His head felt itchy, and no matter how much he scratched, the itch came right back. Om Sum imagined tiny oil monsters having a party on his scalp, sliding around like they owned the place. Then came the smell. At first, it was just a little odd, like an old towel left in the sun. But then it got stronger and stronger, until it followed him around like an invisible fog. Even the squirrels in the park gave him funny looks. Um Sum imagined the smell being so powerful, it knocked leaves off trees or made flowers wilt. He started noticing other changes too. Dust and dirt from outside seemed to love his hair now. It stuck to the oil like glue, making his hair look more like a bird's nest than anything else. He imagined birds actually landing on his head, thinking it was a five-star hotel. The itchiness got worse. Huh? Om Sum pictured his scalp sending out an emergency signal, begging for help. He imagined little shampoo bottles on parachutes floating down to rescue him. Even his pillow looked like it wanted to run away. Not to mention the poor comb, which now refused to go through his hair without getting stuck halfway. Om Sum knew the body produced natural oils to protect the scalp and hair, but without washing, huh? those oils had become way too much. At this point, Om Sum realized something important. Washing hair wasn't just about looking neat or smelling nice, it was about keeping the scalp healthy, letting hair breathe, and removing all the stuff that didn't belong there. It was like giving the hair a fresh start every few days. So, with a new appreciation for his bottle of shampoo and a towel draped like a superhero cape, Aum Sum marched back to the bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> Why does our hair have split ends? Split ends happen when the protective outer layer of our hair, the cuticle, gets damaged, causing the inner fibers to fray. Once a hair strand splits, it can't be repaired, only trimmed. Lack of moisture and frequent washing with harsh shampoos can worsen the problem. To prevent split ends, minimize heat styling, avoid harsh brushing, and get regular trims. Why don't our haircuts hurt? We don't feel pain when we cut our hair because hair is made of keratin a protein with no nerves or blood vessels. Unlike skin or muscles, hair is biologically dead once it emerges from the scalp. Hmm. Pain occurs when nerves send signals to the brain. But since hair has no nerves, cutting it causes no sensation. Hmm. However, the hair follicles embedded in the scalp are alive and sensitive, which is why pulling hair hurts. Hmm. 